Hey everyone, it's Lisa here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a lovely bold botanical design using the Instant Artist brush collection. I'll also be using one of the stamps from the character drawing toolkit just to help me with the layout of the flowers. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new document. You can decide to use any size you like, but the document I'm using is 3,900 pixels by 4,950. The first thing I want to do is just choose the brush shape that we're going to use for the layout. And it's from the character drawing toolkit, the original one. And it is one of the heads. I'm going to use the standard cheeks. And in this tutorial, um, we're just going to use a mustard color, a darker color of that mustard, black, kind of like an off-white color, and then um, a lovely bright pinky color. Okay, so just using one of those colors is perfectly fine. I'm just going to stamp out once and rotate that because I want to use the shape as the flower is going up and just bring the file size, uh, the, sorry, the shape size down a dash. And I'm just going to move it into position, probably something like that. And then I'm just going to duplicate that coming over to my transform tool again and this one I'm going to go back to the original one because I want to make it dash smaller so we basically make them smaller as they go up in our layout so I'm just going to duplicate the the bigger one and move that to the side this is just a rough idea of where we want our actual flowers to be placed. Again, I'm going to duplicate that, coming over to transform tool. And duplicate that, transform tool. So using these shapes just helps me get an idea of the layout first before we get stuck into drawing the actual botanicals. And because this is going to be quite a bold design, we're relying um, heavily on the texture of the actual brushes. So I'm just going to group all of those together and create a new layer. At this stage, you can flatten that layer, no problem. It's entirely up to you. Now I'm just going to fill the layer above that. Make sure we're on the right layer. I'm just going to drag and drop. And then just moving my group above that because I want to be able to see my actual layout. Create a new layer above our group. Choosing that off-white color. Coming up to my Instant Artist brushes. We're going to use the Deliciously Inky for the main botanical flower area. And very loosely, I'm just going to turn that up in size. I want to kind of create lovely sort of textured brush strokes. So I'm very loosely just using the shape as my guide and I'm kind of imagining petals how they would fall kind of almost cupped like that. And you can decide whether you want a lot of petals or just a few. And for this one, I just kept it quite a bit shorter. And then on a new layer above that, I'm going to choose the, the black color. And now we're going to have some fun. Oops. Very loosely. We're not going to be too particular because this is a loose style of drawing. I'm just going to create some lovely branches. and some leaves. So for the leaves, I'm starting with a light pressure and then pushing down hard as I create that middle part. And the idea, as I said, is to be loose. Don't worry too much about being perfect because the beauty of the style is actually to not be perfect. Okay, I didn't like that leaf placement, so I'm going to try that again. 
also too, too similar to that one. So we want variation. And this one I've kind of taken over the other flower, which makes it a little bit more natural. And at this stage, I'm just going for balance in my piece. So you'll see that side needed something. And I would say just over here needs something. Yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with that. I'm just going to turn off my stamp layer and see what that looks like. I think that's looking pretty good. So now we're going to add some accents of pink. So coming just above my uh, petals, creating a new layer, I'm going to choose that pinky color. Again, we're just on Deliciously Inky Brush and very roughly, again, we're going for kind of loose, bold strokes. I'm just adding that pink. And then, then for some accents at the top of the flower, I'm going to create a layer again above the actual petals. Coming down to the darker color that I mentioned earlier on, I'm going to choose one of the pattern brushes, the pattern dots, and very loosely, we're going to clip that in a second. I'm just creating some accents at the top of my petals, and then I'm going to turn that to a clipping mask. So that clips it to the actual flower. And then finally, for some additional interest, creating a new layer um, underneath everything using the same color, I'm going to come down to another pattern brush called Spotty. If your pattern isn't uh, that size, you can easily change that. So I'm going to use this quite large, uh, the scale of the pattern quite large on my piece. So to change your scale, you're just going to tap your brush. You're going to come over to Grain. And then you're just going to move the slider up or down depending on how big you want it. So you'll see mine's on 43 because I want it quite large. So I'm going to leave it as is. Oh, I forgot to mention. So once you've done the scale adjustment, just make sure that you tap done. And now what I'm going to do is just fill in all the areas that are kind of like around the flowers. And because this is a pattern brush, you can pick your pencil up and it'll still retain uh, the, the repeat pattern without any funny seams. And then if you want to adjust the strength of those extra dots we just added, we're just going to bring that opacity down. Maybe something like that. And there you have it, we just created a fun, bold, botanical design in a couple of minutes. Thanks for watching!